right, so good evening, everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. And welcome back to the Malaysian Architecture Education Online Lecture Series, proudly presented by MASA. So this is the 33rd online lecture entitled Architecture Brio, the importance of maintaining the architecture students community spirit during this pandemic. So thank you all for joining us today. All right, so for those who are new, um, MASA stands for Malaysia Architecture Student Alliance. Um, it is a non-profit student committee acting directly under PEM, also known as Pertubuhan Architect Malaysia. And it consists of student representatives from all architecture institutions in Malaysia. So during this time of MCO, MASA and PEM, have decided to launch this very online lecture series for students to be more productive and gain more insights. Architect uh, Adrianta is the head of PEM, as we all know, um, PEM Education, and Dr. Zach Zyril is the convener. There will be more series coming up after this one, just for you all to know. And so do keep in touch with MASA's Instagram and Facebook page. So my name is Amelia. And I'm a MASA representative from UCSI University. And I'll be your very MC for tonight. Okay, so I would like to introduce our guest speaker for today, Ms. Delia Zane, who has been teaching in Taylor's University for more than 10 years and has been the student advisor for Tribe, which is the student uh, architecture student body for eight years and also the program director for the 30th PAM Architecture Student Workshop called Redefine in Taylor's University in 2018. All right, so sit back and relax. Let's hear all about the importance of us maintaining the community spirit during this time. And also there will be a QA and a session at the end of this talk. So if you have any question, just feel free to type them down in the chat box and we will definitely attend to them at the end of this sharing. So without further ado, let's welcome Miss D. Hi. Thank you very much, Emilia. Okay, um, hold on. I will start off with a video first, okay? And this video um, has been um, set up by my student called Adaro Go, yeah, from my semester one uh, degree, yeah? Okay, so I'll just play this. So that's a compilation of all the activities uh, of the architecture workshop that we used to have, right? And we are still waiting for the next one. Uh, hopefully, uh, I, I don't know whether it's going to happen face-to-face uh, -face this year, but they'll hopefully by next year. Yeah. Um, so I will share now my screen, sorry. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and good evening to all. Um, uh, this is actually uh, a sharing session for me. Uh, and uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, it's been eight years. Uh, I've been taking care of this um, community called Tribe in Taylor's. Um, and uh, we started off uh, in uh, attending this uh, architecture workshop in uh, in University Malaya uh, called Dualisma. Yeah? And then at that uh, at that event or the, at the workshop, uh, our contingency uh, actually won the best contingency at, uh, at that uh, architecture workshop. Yeah? Okay, and that actually was the first time that they won uh, such um, a, a award. 
right? That's me there in the crowd, yeah. And, and this was actually in 2013, uh, yeah. So um, this lecture is about the importance of maintaining the architecture students' community spirit during the pandemic because uh, the architecture workshop have actually um, uh, connected a lot of students. It's not just in Malaysia, uh, and we also have students from. Uh, uh, Indonesia, Brunei, and I think uh, Mr. Rizal is here as well from uh, Brunei. Thank you very much uh, for attending. And um, and um, it's going to be uh, a little bit about uh, what I've been doing as well, uh, my experience and my concern about the community yeah, uh, at this uh, with this pandemic. So we start off with what is actually uh, real, uh, which is actually the loveliness or the vigor, or the other word is spirit. Uh, we call it the architecture spirit or semangat. Yeah, in Malay, it's called semangat, semangat of this um, uh, of this community. And I think the community is very strong. Yeah? So you can see yeah, through the videos um, uh, during this event, we would just uh, come together and and uh, have. Fun. It's not just a workshop where we attend uh, seminars, but <clears throat> we will enjoy uh, a lot of activities together. Okay, so this uh, the spirit of the architecture student, and especially this one here uh, is very specific to uh, uh, Malaysia. So uh, from my research here, um, students crave variety and a strong sense of community and studies have found that when students form strong friendship on campus, they are much likely to drop out. Yeah? From this article that I found here, uh, there's concern about students who, uh, who are not able to um, uh, uh, fit in with their, family, with their friends or you know, try to uh, make new friends or they, they feel that they don't belong to any group. Yeah? Um, but I think it's actually our, our responsibility to make sure that everyone in our in our uh, classroom, especially, yeah, um, feel that they belong in that group. Because if they don't feel like they belong in that group, they will start to you know uh, attend less of the class, etc. Yeah. <clears throat> So um, the, the uh, orientation is key, meaning uh, the orientation session. So in Malaysia, we know that a lot of our uh, university, when we attend uh, first year, uh, on that first semester, we have a disorientation session where we get to know each other, like ice breaking. And I think if uh, uh, sometimes you have parties and all, it depends on each uh, institution, they have different um, activities. Yeah? Uh, so I am from UITM Shalam. I were actually um, in, <clears throat> I started off uh, taking my diploma in UITM. So uh, in the in UITM, the orientation is uh, really intense. Okay, it's a one week long where you have to go and visit your you know you have, every night you have to meet your seniors and you have to introduce yourself to the seniors etc. And then it was quite um, uh, I would say a nightmare at that time. But I think when looking back, it feels like uh, it was very, very important because I knew everyone in my uh, my seniors and my juniors. Yeah? So uh, orientation is key and it has to be a well planned. It should be taken seriously. Yeah, I think we need to plan it well uh, so that uh, it's not just about, oh, okay, let's have some drinks and then uh, we just get to know each other's name. I mean, that's the minimum, you know, I, I guess. But if you can plan something better, um, you know, something that's more engaging and also long lasting. For example, maybe you can plan out like perhaps um, it will include everyone in the summer, in the whole university. Yeah? So, and then we can plan it and do it in stages and get everyone involved, including the head of school, you know, and the lecturers, uh, and then uh, to make the student, the new student feel welcome and to create a sense of belonging. Yeah? And that's what I feel is very important um, uh, part of this um, talk. So, so uh, we're talking about the orientation. Okay, and this is actually a, a, a picture of me during my first uh, orientation uh, in UITM Shah Alam. Okay, uh, so every every time we every night we have to visit the studio of the senior, and then each studio uh, actually have requested something. You know, uh, we have as a as a group as a batch we had to do a performance, or in this case we had to. Uh, you know, prepare, I don't know, sometimes they ask us to prepare, sometimes they just impromptu ask us to do something. It feels like it's ragging, it's like bullying, but it's, I think that at, at, at some point it feels like, felt like that, but actually it's, um, they're just trying to uh, get to know you, yeah? Uh, and then of course, after that, we'll do that to the, uh, to the juniors also. So, and in this part here, I had 
to um, I was uh, when we came in, uh, we had to wear that L. Uh, L you can see here L is like we are uh, how learning how to, uh, still learning how to drive and we have to wear the helmet. And I do not know why I was doing that kind of pose anyway. But um, I, I I'm still asking. I don't remember which uh, seniors uh, batch did uh, ask me this, but all these seniors are all now great architects. You know, <laughs> they are all in big firms. Yeah. But anyway, so um, it, it felt like it was bullying. It felt like it was hard at that time. But when you when I look back at this memory, it was uh, quite fun. Yeah. So orientation should be fun and memorable. Yeah. And then the impact that actually you have, you create those events. It's not just about saying, hey, my name is uh, Delia and I'm from Kajang. That's it. You know, it has to be more than that. Um, and then, uh, you, then you start to have a, a bond. Yeah. And then you will remember it. Uh, and it should be creative, I guess. Um, it doesn't matter how you do it, whether you, you know, you, the, the creative part is uh, uh, is also depending on the aim. You know, if your aim is trying to get people together or, you know, get them to do something, then you design it in a way that, uh, you know, you will meet that uh, aim. Yeah? So uh, next is about bonding and friendship. So when you have uh, that orientation, um, I know you, you will meet with your seniors as well as a group, as a class, you start to bond as well because you need to achieve something as a class to present to your seniors, yeah? Um, at that time, uh, you know, if you don't present well, then the senior will start to be angry at you, yeah? Okay, these are all, all famous architect already, you know? It's, it's okay. Um, so, uh, and then, uh, so you need to have a bond in the studio, yeah, between the studio mates, yeah. And then it, uh, some some studios, I think, um, have a smaller group of people, maybe twenty, yeah. But some studios could have fifty or even hundred, yeah. Uh, my batch is uh, in UITM. Every batch has a name, yeah. And then my batch is uh, we don't really have a name, but actually after after so long we call it uh, the the batch yang hilang, the, the the missing the missing batch because out of five uh, fifty students, I think. Um, out of 50 students, only one student um, graduated on time and, and the others graduated maybe after that, you know. So that's the crazy part of my studio. But um, then uh, we had a lot, I, I, for me, myself, I had a lot of uh, friends from different uh, studios, yeah. Uh, and But we still keep in touch as a, as a studio. And, and then we have to have between studio mates and lecturers. And I think the bond between uh, your, your studio, your, your batch and the lecturers is important as well, whether it was before or even now. Um, sometimes I do know some lecturers do not want to have that bond, but I, uh, and then they have these boundaries. But I think that uh, with this kind of pandemic, uh, the lecturers need to be more um, accommodating as well. Yeah. Um, and then between juniors and seniors. So that's when we say uh, between your semester one and two and three, I think you guys should know each other. Uh, sometimes the senior, seniors are supposed to keep, uh, advise the juniors, but sometimes juniors can also give new ideas to the seniors. Eh? It's a two-way relationship. And then uh, with students from other courses and other universities. So uh, the next part is after you sort out that uh, relationship in the studios, uh, then you only uh, try to be friends with other people. I, I guess that's the most important thing. You have to sort out your family first before you 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 know you, you start try to engage with uh, anything that's external. So a sense of belonging uh, to a greater community improve um, your motivation, health, and happiness. Uh, when you see your connection to others, you know that all people struggle and have difficult times, and you know that you're not alone. And there's comfort in that knowledge. Yeah. So um, especially with architecture, there's a lot. Um, you know, you, you know, as a student, it's like a roller coaster ride, yeah. Um, especially at semester one, you don't know what it is. It's, it's like a, a twilight zone. You don't know what you're going into. Um, uh, the lecturer say this and the lecturer say that. Your friends doing something very good, and then you cannot handle that situation sometimes. So there's so many things, and then you have issues at home. You know, um, that's why you need to uh, talk to someone, uh, connect with someone, and know that. You're not alone. Everyone else have the same uh, problem. So uh, just to share with you, um, uh, these are some of my pictures with uh, a few other architects. Um, they are now uh, uh, famous architects like Wan Azhar. Um, this is uh, Khalish, Jamshid, uh, uh, Surya, Rahim, you know. Uh, and this is Nick Nubhan. And this is uh, Mushdi. Uh, so uh, these are all my seniors. Uh, I was actually in semester maybe 
this time three or four, okay, um, uh, in degree. And these are all my other seniors. They are all in the master uh, batch. And then, I mean, we, we talk a lot. Uh, we, I mean, whenever I need help, we will uh, ask uh, for their assistance. And please remember at that time, the internet just started and it was not easy to get online. You, know, you will be waiting for a long, a long time to get information. And, um, and in UITM at that time, uh, the books was not that great. So uh, the seniors really helped us with all this information, yeah? So uh, basically, when you uh, join uh, uh, the university uh, in architecture, you learn these following items like communication, drawing, sketching, uh, design thinking, construction, theories, histories, uh, project management, professional practice, etc. cetera, yeah? Uh, but um, the best way to learn it is actually, um, sorry, is, um, uh, to learn it better with your peers, yeah, because uh, it's really hard to accept this kind of uh, information when you just started, yeah, uh, unless you're very, very special, yeah. Um, and then with peers, you will learn how to deal with people, yeah. So if you work, if you study alone, you, you, you will just read the book or you just do the assignment, and that is not what architecture uh, start, uh, education is, yeah. Uh, it's not like uh, maybe uh, business or others, others, other courses where you go to class, you maybe uh, give, they give you assignment, they give you tests, and then you go back and then perhaps you do some kind of uh, assignment that is a report type, you know. Uh, but in with architecture, I think most of the, the project will be a, a group project, yeah. So you will learn uh, to deal with people and uh, because you're going to deal with them uh, throughout of your life, yeah. I mean, when you work as well. And, um, and it's also great if you can actually join uh, events or competition uh, that would actually uh, uh, would not only help you uh, with experience, but uh, improve uh, networking. Yeah? So uh, joining events and competition is uh, quite important uh, to improve your knowledge uh, in that particular subject or even to uh, improve um, your skills. Yeah? And, uh, and with all this um, experience, you will be uh, uh, more resilient and uh, ready to work in the industry because the industry itself, when you think that school is actually uh, really hard, but actually it, it, when you work in the industry, it will, be, it will test you more. You know, it will be much more harder for you to deal with uh, all the um, uh, problems, uh, the conflict yeah? uh, between, um, between your boss or your uh, colleague at work and uh, even clients. So, um, but let's get it straight, yeah. Um, we, you are encouraged to have good relationship between peers, not just for you to feel like you belong, but to help you improve your learning experience that may contribute to the excellence in class. So uh, I'm not asking you to, you know, uh, have a, 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 all this social life uh, without uh, uh, focusing on your uh, work, yeah, because, uh, but it will happen, um, um, without you noticing that actually you, you talk to when you talk to people, you share ideas, you will improve your own ideas. Yeah? Uh, I think the other thing is a lot of students do not want to share their ideas. They have an idea, they will keep it to themselves. They don't want to talk about it because they are afraid that um, other people would actually steal their work. Yeah, uh, but I think you need to you need to improve that. You, you shouldn't be uh, just uh, you know. Um, uh, you shouldn't be keeping that to yourself. You should share and then improve each other. And by joining uh, events or competition, you're encouraged to do this uh, to expand your skill and experience and networking. Yeah? And it also depends on the type of competition and events. Uh, my concern is if you actually join, a, you just join a competition by yourself, I don't think that you will improve your networking. Yeah, But I do uh, uh, think that it will contribute to the architecture community if, if something that you join a competition that is shared on the, a, a platform that everyone can see but you will not be able to make so, uh, friends maybe if there's someone who actually contact you then you get friends but uh, I, I think this is uh, something that um, will not contribute to the community uh, as, a, as a whole in, in, the, in the university but it will improve um, you know like um, this 
the spirit of the university because they know that you know uh, your that their friends are doing it and then they are winning the competition. It uh, you know it gives some kind of pride to the, to the university, even though uh, um, even not to the university only, but for, uh, to the peers. They they know that they are they are very proud that their friend um, uh, joined and won that activity uh, that that competition. So all these will actually improve your uh, resume and portfolio. Yeah. So this is actually a, a collective of uh, uh, experience that you can actually um, use during your interview. So in the not so far future, let's imagine this. Right. This is uh, future you. Okay. And uh, maybe uh, an assistant architect, your boss. Uh, a design architect and a project manager in an office discussing about things. And uh, what's important here is that um, you'll be dealing with a lot of things you have to discuss. Things. You're not just taking orders. Yeah, you need to uh, be able to communicate. You will have you have problems with client, local authorities, and also the communities. There will there will be feedback from uh, um, you know different uh, uh, parts. Yeah, so the architecture knowledge is important, but you need to have the skills to communicate the knowledge with others to deal with the never-ending conflict. So, by having you know by by um, by by having a, a good um, I would say uh, group work or even student bonding in class in studio. You know, you, you started off uh, in school in the, in the university. You talk to people. Uh, you make friends. You you are. Uh, involved with activities or events you know you will then learn and to deal with people and when you come and when you finally come to this to the office you can deal uh, better with all this conflict yeah so this one here is the uh, studio bonding so um I, I think i want to share how you should start off first okay so let's imagine again this is you i'm just going to close this um Imagine this is you, okay? You just started off with semester one, okay, in degree, uh, and you, you kind of enter the class alone, yeah? And then you start to make one friend, okay, that uh, one friend, uh, you know, start to get to know him uh, or her, you know. And then um, with that one friend, you start to make more friends, yeah? Uh, you will get to know the other classmates, and that is with the help of uh, perhaps the orientation, yeah? Okay? And then that becomes a your new studio mates uh, as a family. Yeah, your, that's your family now, right? Uh, I think that uh, a lot, I do feel like uh, the, the studio mates are like my family, you know? So I, I think that when that happens, you will take care of each other. You know, when I say take care of each other during my experience, we do we do help a lot. If we see someone uh, cannot finish, you know, cannot cut their, maybe they need to have a, a masking tape pin up their work or anything like that, we will help them. And then if, we, if someone cries, we just we will go to them and then comfort them, yeah? So it will create a sense of belonging and happy, you know? Even though you're dealing with something that is, uh, there's some hardship, you're dealing it together as a batch. And you will learn better and be more successful in that class, yeah? And um, uh, I, I do suggest that the student body and lecturer plays an important role in at this stage, yeah? especially that orientation session. So um, uh, if uh, it could be just a, in one week, a week before, or maybe I think it should be a continuous activities of this orientation throughout the whole semester, especially in semester one. Uh, uh, one thing is that uh, in UITM, uh, I, I don't know whether they still do it, but we had our, our, we name our batch, yeah. So uh, like I mentioned earlier, so. Um, they, there's different, I don't even remember what their batch name, I only know Anak Harun, I don't know, uh, that's batch for, for uh, next batch, yeah. And then uh, don't forget that uh, as much as you are requesting a lot of things or you, you're expecting a lot of things uh, from the semester or, or from the whole experience, I think you should be a good uh, studio mate, uh, contribute to the studio as well. Don't just wait uh, for this, this, the the uh, you know for the leader or for the lecturer to do something, why don't you try to contribute as well? If you see something is not working, maybe um, you know highlight it. All right. So then you have your uh, sem one. Yeah? That's your studio. All right. right then, uh, again, another interruption from my side. Okay. I think the slides are not changing. Yeah. It's it. Uh, what. I'm seeing right now is the studio bonding. Studio bonding. 
Yep, now we can see. Okay, sorry. Uh, All right, one? okay, yeah. Now we can see. Video the... bonding between studios? Yes, yes. Uh, did you see this? Oh, we did not see that. Uh, now we're oh, seeing gosh. it. Yeah. All right, uh, so sorry. I just go through. This was my um, slide, sorry. This was, this one? Did you see? No. We saw this, yes. This one, this yes. One, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, this one was a studio bonding where I said about you as a class and you make one friend. And then um, so I think I when I was actually um, moving it away, I, I kind of uh, pressed on it. Sorry. Okay. So this is actually um, the, the first slide. Okay. And then now this is bonding between studios. Yeah. So um, you have semester one, and then semester two, semester three, four, uh, five, and six. Yeah. Okay. You have this big community. Now these are actually your new extended family. Yeah. Because you are from the same um, grandfather and grandmother. You know. <laughs> you know. So um, the architect. This is the architecture student community in your university. Okay. So uh, this can only be achieved uh, with a uh, with a strong and active student body. You know. Uh, if you have a good. I mean. The, the 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 studio can exist, but if you want to have a strong body or I mean like a strong a family between all, all of this batch, you need to have a uh, an active and strong uh, student body yeah, that will uh, actively create activities. Yeah? So uh, example, uh, Archifest in UITM Shah Alam. That's what I have been through. Um, every uh, when uh, every semester we have this this thing called Archifest, and um, every there's they have this arrangement where uh, this. The semester seven, which is actually at that time was a diploma of a four years. So semester seven will be the one who organize it. Okay. And then uh, the other batches will do different things. For example, semester three will prepare the food. Semester two will prepare, I, I can't remember what it was, I think um, uh, souvenirs. And then semester one will do the poster. Semester four will do the stage, you know, and then everyone will come together and we will have a, a, a few activities like I think it will be a one week long activity and the last final activity will be a performance yeah, by every uh, batch. And activity must be created well in advance and must you must visualize the whole activity as a whole. So, you know, uh, for especially with all the semester coming together. Okay, so now you have that uh, your uh, university family. Okay, so that's your university family. Then other universities will have their own um, family as well, you know, right? So, uh, so all of you are all happy families. I imagine that, yeah. So, uh, bonding between other institutions, yeah. The bigger architecture student community. So, um, uh, uh, fun facts. In the end, you will work in the, uh, in a firm with these same people. So, um, you might be working there, especially in Malaysia. You will end up working with the same people. You know, I mean, uh, if you know them in 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 the workshop, sometimes you will meet them again. And a lot of our students, uh, they go abroad, either into the UK or the Australia. You will meet the same people again. You know. Um, so you will be. You know, I I think that's important because it's a, quite a small world, especially in Malaysia. Yeah. So PAM, uh, PAM plays an important role here, yeah, because uh, these activities, um, uh, uh, some of the, most of the activities that um, is conducted, but was actually by PAM, okay, to make sure that uh, uh, it's not just for uh, the bonding, but for uh, education purposes, yeah. And then, um, but my suggestion is that each uni should uh, actively reach out and organize events. So don't wait just for PAM to organize something. Uh, I guess that you guys uh, between universities, sometimes um, uh, you have another friend from another university, uh, you know, you, you know them well, or you see someone on Pinterest, uh, on, on Instagram that doing something, maybe you can uh, communicate with them and then organize uh, something between universities, yeah? So uh, be a proactive student body or even student and um, supervising lecturers and student leaders play an important role here yeah, to make sure that the activity is uh, conducted properly. Yeah? Okay. Now you, you have your, uh, your university, you have your family, then you, you have the, uh, the other university. That's already the uh, student architecture community. Then you also have, uh, after that, it's actually uh, the different institution like PAM and LAM, 
or uh, and uh, the different firms, the architecture firms that's out there. Okay, so you guys will then be going into all these firms. You know that's why I'm saying that you, you'll be working in the same community. Okay, you will meet each other anyway. You know, so um, that's the interesting part. Yeah. So this is a, I call this the uh, architecture ecosystem, the bigger architecture community. Yeah. Now, now it's not student anymore. It's the whole uh, community. Uh, it will need to start with you and your studio mates first. So that's why it's here. You first, okay? Then you start with your studio mates and then with the other people in your uh, studio and then to create this big, huge uh, community. And uh, to continue this um, relationship, I think you should, uh, um, uh, I think students should enjoy their site visit. They should have a uh, um, lunch together, participate in activities organized by the student body. Okay, uh, and and um, as a as a as a student body, you should engage with other university, visit uh, maybe perhaps visit uh, other university, exchange ideas, organize events like forum or joint exhibition or events. Yeah, and with uh, with the with the pandemic, it's not always bad, but. Uh, with uh, online session, uh, with webinars, etc. Uh, these are all possible as well, yeah, to, to, to achieve. So uh, uh, with, that, with that structure, you will see the whole networking, you know, you will have networking between uh, students. When you start in, uh, when you go to the office, you will start then uh, know that, oh, this person is connected to the other person, or oh, this person was studying here. It's a, a huge uh, uh, web of relationship there in, in the office, yeah. And then that, uh, that web of relationship is not just in Malaysia, but it will spread out uh, internationally like this. Yeah? And the advantages are endless, like solving problems, uh, create more friendship. Um, you can do a lot of collaboration, uh, sharing of ideas and technology. There's, there will be job opportunities and uh, improve research, yeah? opportunity for research. So um, that's why uh, having networking from from the university level is good. You know, then when you go somewhere, you will, uh, and then from that friend, you will they will actually introduce to someone new. Okay. So the architecture student community, especially in Malaysia, is unique. Yeah, because of also because of the uh, the PAM uh, workshop. Yeah, because you always gather not just the student but the lecturers will come together to ensure that that all universities are working uh, on the right path. You know doing the right thing. So uh, we actually, for Redefine, we actually created this uh, website called um, Architecture Student Workshop, uh, which you can uh, um, uh, visit, okay? Um, we started this because we wanted to collect all the architecture students' um, uh, uh, photographs or even information, something like this, okay? So you can go on to and you can see all the uh, workshop um, that's been done. So it started in the 1980s, okay? Uh, 1987 there okay when there it was actually only three universities yeah the, the, the three pioneer university in malaysia at that time was usm U, uh, utm and uitm yeah? or um, itm at that at that time yeah so um uh, and then throughout the years now i think we have about 40 uh, architecture um, institution yeah all right all over malaysia so you can visit here as well this is a the uh, history about uh, the architecture workshop and uh, you can visit it you can scan here if you if you want and i can actually share this later with you again um at the moment is uh it's actually currently at 2018 with redefine i think we need to push uh, mr idris uh, from uh, Nyala to actually fill up the uh, Nyala information yeah, that uh, happened in 2019 so just to share with you, this is actually the architecture workshop in, I think, 2000, uh, 1997, I think, yeah? This is in USM, okay, this, uh, where we did a lot of activity. We did this, uh, the longest sketch ever um, in USM, okay? Um, these are some of the sketches, uh, all these, these, these friends of mine are from different universities, okay? And this, this uh, photo here, I don't know whether you know any of them, if you're working, this is um, um, Yase, this is my husband, Ash, this is um, a Fuad, okay, and then there's Arwa Haris, this is uh, uh, Hafiz in, in GDP now, okay, uh, and I forgot the, other, the rest of the name, sorry, but you remember their faces. Um, 
And then uh, I was uh, I also organized the um, Aka Umbi Jamboree Akasia. Okay. Um, and then uh, uh, at that time we were very um, we did not have internet. Uh, it was re I mean if we did it would take a long time to upload. But this is actually um, uh, our booklet uh, at that time. Okay. And I, I'm sharing you this picture now. Is that um, uh, because of our um, our roots, yeah. Our roots of actually most of us here in this picture are from UITM, yeah. Uh, even though we are from different batches, Adri architect Adrianta is my senior. I never met him, but because we are from the same university, we have a strong bond. Even though we didn't meet each other during uh, when when I was studying, yeah. And then the, the, the relationship continue until now. And in this one, I want to share a little bit about uh, redefine. Okay, uh, it's actually the architecture workshop that I did uh, with my students. Okay. I was the director for it uh, with um, uh, with Arena and Carmen. Okay, um, and then uh, we were celebrating the thirtieth architecture workshop, and um, after that was uh, the thirty first was uh, in two thousand and nineteen uh, Nala by IUKL, and two thousand and twenty is actually supposed to be by uh, UPM, but it's on hold, and we hope that uh, they will continue with it uh, this year. But I think it's, um, they're still planning for it, but I don't think that they can do uh, a face-to-face. -face. So there's, we are still uh, waiting for their information, yeah? So um, this is actually uh, in University of Malaya. Uh, um, and this is actually a, a University of Malaya student, Aum, at um, UTM, I guess, uh, for NEON, okay? And this is our, uh, their, uh, their favorite pastime where they like to chant. Yeah, uh, like the video that I showed you. Um, and well, throughout all these activities, uh, I've been through a, a lot of uh, architecture workshop. Yeah, uh, I've met a lot of people, not just students, uh, students who became my friend and also lecturers. Yeah, so these lecturers are always there when there's a workshop. Uh, they always encourage, uh, are encouraging students uh, to uh, take part in, in the workshop uh, and do their best yeah, to, uh, to actually represent their university. Yeah. Um, and then uh, and you saw all those fun photos, uh, yeah. But actually, um, um, they are also the uh, I, I want to say not non fun, but this is uh, the educational part, yeah. So, for example, uh, during the um, redefine, we invited uh, the architects to come in to sit down with them to create some activities or design something, give us uh, some motivational talk, right? These are some of the example. And then, uh, from the feedback, uh, the student really enjoyed that session as well. The opportunity to talk to architects. Uh, and then uh, and to do something as well, you know, not not um, a, a fun thing to do. And uh, this was uh, some of the activities they had to create um, a structure and uh, like a defense uh, structure here where it will uh, like a like a fortress. Okay, so we, we are requesting them to design this fortress. Okay, um, uh, there were about I think twenty groups. I think right, and that's that's uh, that's not all of them, but. Uh, uh, these are all the structures that was there that they made it, yeah. And then once this is remember, there's a fortress. And uh, you would then they will have they have to defend their fortress, and then we throw out uh, water balloons, yeah. So that's the fun part, yeah. Uh, and, and then we had a fashion show, uh, and all these items were there's there's some uh, item that as uh, if they're coming from the university, they prepare this item beforehand. You know, uh, so the brief is given out maybe five months or six months before the event, so the student will prepare it, uh, and then uh, when they come to this workshop, they they perform it uh, or they present it. Uh, this one here are the. Um, uh, fashion show and this will be the performance yeah and they come in equipped they are so uh, they're, they're just crazy all of university are crazy they are so semangat yeah um, they have the spirit they will prepare they they, they love their university they, they come to win as well and not just to make friends or, or to have fun but to win at that time also we had uh, the redefine um it was the first um uh, time we had uh, a brief where the installation was on water. Uh, I, I think it was a very challenging um, uh, brief, but I think they, they managed to do that. Um, so this is some of the um, uh, installation before it was put in onto the water. Yeah, and I would like to take the opportunity here to thank all my uh, redefined uh, student. Okay, 
uh, and especially Arina, um, uh, Azira here, uh, Amira, Syed, uh, Wan. Yeah, so I want to thank them, all of you here, uh, and there's many more. Um, thank you so much for that wonderful event. Yeah. Other events that uh, I was involved in, but uh, I think just want to share with you this past week by PAM. Uh, this is actually the architecture student workshop exhibition. So they come to uh, one Utama uh, mall and they will uh, bring their um, uh, like an exhibition booth. Uh, it's, it's part of a competition uh, and organized by PAM. And then uh, PAM will have a, um, what call that, um, uh, a sponsor. Uh, I think, uh, for example, this one here is by the plasterboard. Uh, sponsor and then uh, they will give it they will send it to the university and the university will have to create using that material and they will come to this uh, mall uh, to present it yeah okay so we don't we haven't uh, we're we still waiting whether we can do this uh, this year yeah uh, and this uh, again i would like to thank uh, the team that actually helped me out especially azira and uh, magat and also uh, um um paul Isaac. Uh, uh, remember. and also touching eh, touching uh, Zul yeah okay uh, that's why all these friends these people have different names yeah? uh, they have the cool names like this one is touching or you can call you know him as Mr Zul yeah all right um so the benefit of all the all of these activities is actually it creates a healthy relationship between different institutions foster collaboration and networking a sharing knowledge between students, lecturers, and even practitioners, uh, help with students' confidence with extra skills and experience, um, the feeling of belonging, so reduce any kind of mental illness, you know, improve students' performance in studio, especially their learning experience, uh, and all these skills and experience will be crucial when they start working, yeah, okay? But um, that is before before COVID-19, yeah? Before COVID-19, we could actually have those kind of activities. Everything was good, yeah? But now with COVID-19, all the studios are empty. Uh, students are now online. Uh, there's less communication. I have um, a student who told me that they, they, they only, be, they get online and then um, they meet the lecturers and then they work alone. They don't even, you know, com communicate in their WhatsApp group you know, I, I think that's sad, uh, even though they were actually as classmates. So I think um, students need to know that they need to um, make sure that they are connected together, you know, don't work alone, even though you are at home. So uh, at that time, um, the, the impact on the student community was, um, or even still is, actually all face-to-face -face activities were put on hold, uh, and especially uh, PAM uh, Student Architecture Workshop. Uh, there's lack of interaction between students. Um, like I said, in your, even in your studios, you don't have interaction because uh, unless it's a group work, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't make an effort uh, to to meet each other online. Even even though you know, uh, you know, you can meet online, discuss things, um, and then poor student bonding and peer learning. Uh, that I, I don't think a peer learning can happen online unless it's actually a group work and uh, poor learning experience, yeah? And then you feel a lot of uh, students feel demotivated during this time, yeah? Because they're working alone. They're dealing with so much um, uh, assignment, yeah? So, I think that um, uh, knowing that, I, I think we, uh, we re I realize that this is a problem. I think a lot of us realize it's a problem, yeah? So what are the solutions, yeah? So um, before I, I explain to you about the solution. I just share again, these are actually uh, tribe and then with their activities, they, they, they don't just attend um, the workshop. They actually done a, a, like a parties, uh, that's called a, a Tony Award, Mr. Tony Liu. We had a, a, just an award called Mr. Uh, a Tony Award. Uh, we had chapati, like a party in the studio where every, every batch have to present. I mean, um, we are not, I, I think that I'm, as a student advisor, uh, the activities uh, are interesting and great, they, uh, but it's not as um, intense as in UITM Sha'alam through my experience, yeah. But uh, I think that with um, I, I do advise them because of my experience. I advise tribe based on my experience with uh, UITM Sha'alam. Um, uh, so, and then and then just to share with you, um, uh, Dr. Suchi from Taylor's um, conducted this, uh, and the team, uh, other lecturers actually conducted uh, this um, survey. Yeah? 
A questionnaire was uh, administrated from November uh, to December 2020 on the move from in-person to online design studio te teaching. Uh, from 230 students respond received, the summary of findings are as follows. Yeah? Uh, overall, student satisfaction for student learning fell uh, 38% following the move to online teaching. Yeah? So it, it actually, uh, students are not happy with that. Most factors question uh, uh, were considered to have been neg negatively affected. Yeah, um, so they are they are they all the actually the, the answers are quite um, uh, the, the, the the sorry the response were quite uh, bad. Yeah, um, uh, the most negative affected being peer learning. Yeah, the moderately negative factors are learning opportunities and feedback activities followed by student support and environmental factors. Yeah. Um, then 52% um, of students found transition to online learning was difficult. Only 29% found it smooth. Okay. Um, so I think 52% is quite huge, you know. Um, and top three challenges of online learning are poor internet connection and difficulty in group work and are not motivated. And for that reason, uh, uh, group, we, uh, we actually, for the second uh, half of, I mean, I think we tried uh, as much to not do a group work, or if we do it, we need to uh, plan that group work well, yeah? And uh, number three is actually uh, not motivated, yeah? So students were, uh, the challenges was that students were not motivated because they are at home, they don't see their friends working, uh, maybe their parents ask them to do a lot of housework, etc. yeah? And the uh, top three advantages of online learning are flexibility, safe time and cost, ongoing to school, safe resources on printing boards and paper for tutorial and presentation. And number three is better time management. You know, it depends. I guess some people say it's better time management. Some people say it's, um, it's, it's extra work. You know, sometimes doing things online is quite, um, uh, you have a lot of extra work. The top three online platform use was actually uh, Zoom, Teams, and Times. Yeah, so you can see here, student uh, preferred uh, student preferred for studio delivery is in studio eighty two percent, remotely forty four percent, and no preference is about forty percent. Then the challenges in studying online versus face to face. Uh, I think the most is here, which is actually difficulty to do uh, group work as mentioned earlier. And um, and uh, here is actually the advantages, okay? Advantages is flexibility, you know? Uh, and uh, here is, what is this? Easier to understand tutors, uh, okay? Um, so basically, uh, with this um, survey, uh, we did some discussion and we, uh, on my part, uh, uh, we improved the student uh, community. We wanted to um, improve the student community so to give them a better environment. Uh, even though they are online, okay? So it's not that we didn't do anything before before this survey, but I think after that, we want to improve uh, uh, more, okay? So the, the aim after discussion, the aim was actually to, is to bring back the community spirit, okay? So that's my task. I mean, the other lecturers will actually improve on the other parts. Yeah, maybe uh, like Dr. Suchi will improve on the studio learning, etc. But for the community uh, bonding part, uh, that's actually for, um, uh, it's part of my, uh, tasks uh, and with tribe, yeah. So the activities by tribe, um, we already had orientation before, but now we have to do it online. And uh, the good thing is actually tribe actually has improved that orientation since uh, the pandemic started in um, uh, March 2020. So we're just improving uh, the icebreaking session, yeah. So we have, uh, and now we have a first year experience, which is an, an, I would say an enhanced first year experience. We have team building and online exhibition. So it will be conducted like the whole semester rather than just, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the, the team, like they will plan together maybe online or face-to-face -face for this ex online exhibition um, together, the first year and the second year, yeah. Uh, we have this arcade, uh, is that an online gaming. Uh, I will share with you later. Normally, uh, we have a um, spot fest, you know, where uh, students will play basketball, um, and I don't know what else they will play, basketballs, and um, maybe five aside, I cannot remember. But I think, and lecturers will join in. So now we're going to do uh, an online gaming where the lecturers can also join in. 
uh, they have lazy night uh, on Discord, sorry, not Discord, it's Discord, uh, sorry. Um, uh, this is to replace, you know, like maybe they, normally they would actually have a session at the mama drinking uh, tea and all, but now maybe they, they, they cannot, they have to meet online uh, on Discord. Um, a design and community workshop and webinar, uh, we have a few of that. Uh, the Future Thinkers was actually a face-to-face -face, um, session. This will be like a, um, an online uh, webinar I think, and, and a lot of you can join in as well. Um, and this is actually our ninth session. Yeah? And uh, there's a welcoming speech by the um, head of department, Dr. Veronica. So that gives them, you know, a, a, you know, normally when you go to school, you have a assembly, right? When you're in high school, you have assembly, and then the, the uh, headmaster will give you all this uh, information or welcoming a speech, etc. So now, actually, with the with the pandemic, this is something good that we can do it online like this, yeah. Um, uh, and then have um, the FB, Instagram, YouTube, Discord, uh, WhatsApp group uh, to improve communication and student sharing of information and also student sharing of work yeah so uh, the social media plays an important role as well we now have a newsletter we have a uh, this, so this newsletter i will share it later uh, helps to inform students about the uh, activities that's happening uh, in camp i mean not just in campus but uh, with the university and students we, we are planning to do a yearbook uh, and uh, the graduation batch is actually having an exhibition online because uh, before this it was actually um, um, a, a, a physical exhibition now it has to be online and uh, we already started uh, last uh, November or uh, December with tea time it's actually an, an alumni uh, talk an online alumni talk uh, which actually uh, benefited the student because we can call alumni that is actually in Barcelona in the UK um, uh, and maybe in Singapore to come and give a talk to the student. So as much as um, it is a you know it's a it's a negative thing that happened with the pandemic, but there's a lot uh, there's also some advantages. New new opportunity arrive from the pandemic. So just to share with you, this is actually the social media uh, that we have. So if you want to follow, you can join. Okay, um, we have a Facebook group. We have two. Um, uh, Instagram, one is actually for all our activities and the other one is um, dedicated only for the architecture workshop, okay? Um, and this one here is actually how it looks like, the, our SAB tribe where we inform the student. And uh, just to share with you, this is actually um, uh, uh, the Instagram where we have the students' work, the sharing of students' work. Um, and all this is actually organized by the uh, student themselves. Uh, led by uh, Jesse Lim and Erin, yeah, okay, so these are all the um, uh, organized and they, they, they did the um, graphic, okay, and all that, okay. So this one here, just to share with you our newsletter, right, I, I think that um, before this we had newsletters in terms of in the form of paper, right, or maybe we have it on a pin it up on a board, so now um, what we do is uh, we have to do it online. I think uh, uh, for some time, a lot of people do not do any more um, newsletters. So, but we think that this is important uh, to share with the students, yeah? Okay, and then when they look at the, especially the achievements, they feel that they, uh, they, they, they feel proud about their, their university, the activities, they are more aware of what's happening. So at least even if they're at home, they feel that they're part of this, um, uh, a community, yeah. So it's really hard to to maintain that uh, feeling when you're actually online. Okay, this is just some of the uh, teaser. I, I am not. There's no no sound, so don't worry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, this is just uh, this. We we started arcade last semester, um, and then um, I think we just we just do it anyway. We don't know whether it was going to be successful or not. But I think uh, even though. Uh, we didn't get a lot of students, but I think we get a few students who are really interested in and then we get feedback and we're improving um, uh, the event and we're doing it better this semester. The student will do it better, yeah. Um, uh, this is actually the example of their Discord um, uh, channel. They have a lot of things going on with the Discord uh, and then they, they manage the lazy night as well. You can, you can tell uh, uh, a tribe what you want to do on that lazy night. You can recommend and then they will, they will do some events, yeah. Okay. 
um, in terms of orientation, okay, um, like I said, they started off last last year during the pandemic. They had to trans, uh, change their method, yeah, uh, and then I think they did it very successfully uh, to do it online. Um, and then uh, they had this, the, the first one, they had a video as well to, uh, because normally they would say it verbally to the student, they would, we would meet the student, we would share um, the documents or we would tell them verbally, get to know them. But now they have this, um, they, they can't do that. And then, but they prepared a, a video, you know, uh, uh, to the students, yeah. Uh, with that video as well, they have all the links and they will meet up also on Discord. Uh, to, to 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 get to know each other better, yeah, and they'll prepare all these um, posters, yeah. Uh, and recently, uh, we just had the the first master orientation. I mean, they had their tailors orientation, but this is actually uh, was their like um, welcoming uh, internal party. Uh, so so that they they started off with this. Uh, before this, we had um, uh, there was. Um, uh, separation between the masters and the degree, but now uh, with this uh, initiative, they are uh, they are more um, uh, they are bond together now. They're like as one as a unit, yeah. Okay, and I think from the feedback is that the student gets uh, it's not just about a bonding with the juniors and seniors or getting to know each other, but uh, there was a, there was a lot of good uh, advices from the seniors to the juniors, yeah. Uh, uh, this is just an example of our uh, tea time. We have uh, we, this is actually on our Instagram, so you can have a look at it. So if you want, I think there's a, a recorded video of all the talks as well. Um, we had the future thinkers, which was just a design forum that was face to face. Uh, we move it uh, online, um, and then the uh, the graduating batch posters here. I think they had the they already had the Instagram etc. When they did the physical. Um, exhibition but now they have to do it all um, and online version so just to share with you the recipe to organize this event yeah what's the recipe um this, i think the aim was actually to make sure that it has uh, the students have a good um, student community they feel like they they belong to a community they know what's happening in campus yeah but uh, the most important to do to do that to achieve whatever you saw just now you have to have a good team of motivated and skilled students who understand the importance of the student bonding and activities. So I, oh, I highly recommend that you will do, uh, do select them properly. So we do have a recruitment of a uh, uh, system uh, to select this uh, the new team members. Yeah, uh, as the, like tribe is actually uh, all the uh, is like the student uh, body, but there, there will be like the. Um, Committee members, the main committee members should be selected properly. The team should have uh, support from lecturers and work together with the lecturers, yeah, um, and uh, to create all this event. Because I think if if the student does it and the the lecturers does not um, support it, uh, the the event will not uh, go smoothly or it will not achieve the the aim. Yeah? Uh, and it's not just in tailors. I, I guess uh, there, there are some other universities like that where the lecturers do not give um, uh, their total support or they don't care what's happening. Yeah? Um, and uh, brainstorm and plan well. I guess um, it's like any other event. Brainstorm, get get good ideas. Try to um, push the push the ideas to the next level. Yeah. All activities should have a specific aim, theme, and concept. Uh, interesting graphic itinerary, uh, promotional or marketing strategies and platform. Uh, depending on your program, sometimes um, if it's actually very internal in your class, maybe you get everyone to join. But if it's actually like a, a forum, a talk, you do need to promote it properly. Yeah? You have to have a strategy and a platform. Um, for example, this talk right now, uh, you, you know, you can actually do the event. You, you can manage it, but actually you, the, 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 the uh, the challenge is actually to get more people to join in. Yeah? So then it means that you need to improve your marketing strategies. Ideas should be interrelated and support each other for, for consistency. So whatever concept you have, either you, either you follow through it, uh, you know, you don't, don't change the, 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 the graphic, make sure that the graphic is almost the same, uh, it's the same for each event. Yeah? So that's my, that's my, uh, that's my, uh, what do you call that, my guide. Uh, to to, uh, to handle events, yeah. Um, I have I have handled a lot of events, um, so uh, and I enjoy doing that. So these are my key um, secret tool, yeah. Okay, the team should have a good uh, have should have good managers, yeah. So from that, 
committee member make sure you you uh, allo uh, uh, find the good managers that could guide the others but when i say guide the others maybe there are others who are still um trying to learn so maybe make sure that the ones that are good uh, they can actually guide them you know i'm not saying the good ones are all uh, always excellent but you, you know that you can see the potential and then make sure that they work together and they always train each other for example you you are in in uh, year two right now uh, you are training you, you know you're, you're the, the batch that's uh, the, um, the committee member you you have to plan to um, train your juniors so that it will continue to have a, a good outcome after each event, there should be a post-mortem survey and report to improve for the next session. And uh, it's a, it's a, the report is also good for the, for the school. Yeah? So the conclusion is that uh, student bonding and student community are an important element to enhance individual learning experience, skills, and their academic performance. Yeah? Um, uh, uh, before this, if you come from high school or A-level, uh, you know how to score is actually or how to be successful is actually to to don't go out uh, you know focus focus don't don't play around don't go to parties and all you know but when you come to architecture i think uh, or even the university level um uh the social impact is very different yeah you, you need to know where you can actually gain uh, experience and where you should actually control yourself not to you know to, not to party too much but um, all of this will contribute to your uh, to your your skills or experience. Yeah. Be more proactive. Participate or organize healthy student events. Okay. Um, so whether you are a part of the uh, student uh, body or you are you're not. So uh, I think you still can actually um, create something new. You know, find find ways uh, to to be active. Okay. So either you 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 attend stuff or if you can actually create stuff, do it, you know. We need to work together to sustain and improve the architecture student community in this pandemic, all right. Um, I, I don't think that you can work alone, whether, you know, you, you as a student in your in your class, um, I think you need to work uh, as a whole uh, with the lecturers as well, yeah. Take time to plan and strategize the student uh, uh, and the activities or event, the student activities or events, sorry. Yeah, so take time. Don't, don't just do all, oh, oh, just because we need to do it or because someone asked you to do it. Plan it well. Do take advantage of the pandemic and the online platform for your personal development and for the architecture community uh, development as well. Yeah, so that's, uh, those are my conclusion from this uh, talk. Yeah, so. Um, Let's work together to improve the students' uh, bonding and the architecture community spirit. And I think that it's very important for you to know that um, you need to stay tuned um, for because UPM is planning something new for the workshop on the new era of pandemic. Yes, yeah? so I, I think they are planning something. Um, I don't know whether Shah is here or not, but uh, he's planning something. I don't know whether it's online or face-to-face. But stay tuned it will be in he said within september to october yeah okay all right and that's it for me thank you everyone thank you miss d for that very in-depth and personal sharing of how important and fun our community can be and i do hope everyone enjoyed it and gained ample insights from this sharing Right, so we are now at the Q&A session. So if anyone has any questions, do feel free to just type it out in the chat box. Right, so while we wait for the questions, I do actually have a question myself, <laughs> right? Oh, um, you're muted actually, yeah. Sorry, okay, yeah. Yeah, all right, okay. My question is, um, what do you think is, um, more important in this like community is it like the um, cooperation from students or the cooperation from lecturers mm, i would say both i guess but the, the first thing has to start with the student right um i, I think um uh, the student needs to know that first you know that they need to have that uh, the, the the need the want uh, to and uh, to be as a community it's not, it's not, it wasn't an easy task for me in 2013 or 12 uh, to um, unite the students, 
uh, because they did not know what was an architecture workshop at that mm -hmm. time. Uh, they couldn't appreciate that. So um, um, I, I honestly, I had to brainwash them. <laughs> but uh, I, and I took them uh, to Dualisma and then they enjoyed that. And after that, it was, you know, after they realized that was important or that's what they want, you know, I could have, I could, I could, I could have that feeling, you know, I want, I want them to know that this is what I felt, this is what I did. But if they do not experience it themselves, they will not understand. So it's really important that the student, um, they, from them, from their point of view. So I cannot, I cannot force students to do it. You know I mean, so yeah. they need to uh, to have it first, and then uh, the lecturers will come in. But I do think that uh, in UITM, uh, sometimes the, the student um, uh, Akisa they do it themselves. They they, are, they 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 don't really need a lecturer to help them out. Yeah. So it depends on how strong uh, or mature that that um, student body is. You know. But even though with a strong body, they they, they need to. Uh, get some um, support from their lecturers because all this activity may happen during the weeks that you know education week things like yeah. that. So you know, I, I think the bond is not just about the student and student, but with the lecturers. And then why I say that you have to have a bond with the lecturers as well because right now I'm working with my uh, student, you know, my my former student, you know, my foundation student in uh, in 2010. He's now my co tutor uh, in. In, in semester one, you know, so you know, at the end of the day, you'll be friends anyway, so don't make enemies, <laughs> right? We okay. definitely need more lecturers like you around to <laughs> keep the spirit going, yeah. Okay, we have a question from the audience Um, will the certificate be given at the end of the event from Cynthia? Um, what event is yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, um, is she referring? Cynthia, uh, are you what, maybe what it could be? Yeah, maybe it could be a bit specific uh, to what event you're referring I mean, to. Yeah. She's my writing. Okay. If it's actually the architecture workshop, if it's actually anything that's um, that's organized by PAM, you will get a certificate. Yeah. Is that okay, right. Cynthia? Yeah. Um, yeah. if you are referring to this event, then no, you will not be getting. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if you're this, this talk, it, then you will not get a, a certificate. Uh, but uh, I guess uh, at the end of the day, when I tell my student, uh, when you join um, a student workshop uh, uh, or even a student body, uh, that shouldn't be the main thing. Asking for a certificate or because you're doing it, because you're doing it, because you have a. A scholarship. Uh, normally, I would actually really think about it because they are thinking about themselves. Uh, so I would say, um, um, you know, you, you need to know that you, when you do when you join the student body, you kind of like uh, do it for the community because. But at the end, you will get the certificate anyway. Right. I think um, most students are actually drawn to the certificate itself. Maybe that's why um, there's no strong community spirit. Yeah. So, um, what would you say? What, how would, what would you say that um, we could implement that spirit to not be just drawn to the certificate? Um, exposure. Number one is actually exposure. Uh, exposure in terms of the activities and also uh, the things that happen in in the class. I mean, like whatever you're doing as a mm -hmm. studio uh, or in in the in the architecture community itself. I think. That's what's important. But I mean, we do like to give a certificate in Malaysia, right? But I think that's not, not the aim, you know, or oh, just have a certificate in your folder. But um, there's a lot more to gain. And then I think it's not an easy thing to tell anyone, especially coming from a four semester one where they are very new. They, they just, uh, it's a transition semester as well. I, I would say they will learn that later on, I guess, you know? Yeah. Right. Okay, so moving back to the comments, we've got quite a number of comments here. Um, a comment from Mr. Toshiko. Oh, he was commenting how great. Uh, it's oh, Mr. Toshiko, sorry about that. It was a great presentation with such positive tone throughout. Yeah, definitely a great presentation. Um, Okay, another question from uh, Mr. Balder. Uh, could you share with us how did you tackle teaching while attempting to encourage peer learning during last year's MCO? 
Uh, before that, uh, em uh, Emilia, I just want to share with you, uh, uh, Mr. K Mr. Toshiko yeah. is actually from Plymouth University in the UK. So, uh, I see. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, Toshiko, can you share what time is it there? Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Toshiko. Yeah. So, so I have a program behind, so uh, it's uh, 2.42 in the afternoon. Yeah. And then, uh, so um, just to share with you and everyone else, we are doing um, collaboration. Uh, we're having uh, like a design charade that will happen on the 26th of April, right? Uh, so uh, that's why uh, we are collaborating. So this is another example of what, uh, you know, the pandemic can do. And then, so the, the, the community has spread it out, not just in Malaysia, it's spread out to the UK, right. you know? Yeah. Uh, was there any question there, Toshiko? You just uh, full uh, agreed on all that thing? I, I totally agree with um, what you're saying and it's the, I think positivity is the what we are so hungry for right now. It's It's been very tough and uh, in the UK we have ex exact same problem we're facing. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> but it's an idea of the bonding, as I mentioned, that it's the, if you have a good relationship with your peers and then the tutors, Will, will basically conquer any situations. And that's also gives the confidence to students, definitely. Mm -hmm. and when the students develop the confidence and then you can read a better future. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I totally agree with everything. I think it's the difference between UK and Malaysia. I can see that I, I'd love to join that uh, event. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I think you have a right attitude with let's celebrate, let's have a music yeah. and that. <laughs> I'm not sure how how long it's going to take for me to make all the British students to dance. Yeah. To without do something drink. like, yeah, without, without <laughs> drinking, yes, yes. In the UK, they have to drink to enjoy that. But that Malaysian student, they were not drinking at all. They were just having nasi lemak, I guess. It's <laughs> even better, much healthier. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Toshiko. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being oh, here. On behalf of Masa, we'd like to thank you, Ms. Toshiko, for joining us tonight as well. Maybe oh. next time you can invite Ms. Toshiko. Yeah, yeah she's maybe. <laughs> the first year, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ms. Toshiko is actually teaching in Plymouth, but she's actually from Japan as well. So I think you should invite her next time, yeah? We could, we we could definitely consider that yeah. Masa <laughs> team. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so we can go back to Belda, uh, Chan, yes, or Triple C. Question. Yeah, you asked me. But, but, and then uh, as um, uh, Triple C is my uh, a former student, uh, my foundation student in 2010. Yeah, I'm old, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, could you share with us how did you tackle teaching while attempting to encourage peer learning during the last MCO? Um, uh, I have to be honest with you. Um, uh, the subject that I took uh, mostly um, did not do um, group work at that time. That's how we tackle it. <laughs> tackle, there's no peer learning. Um, but uh, because uh, when it happened, we did not think about it yet. I mean, because we, we were worried about a lot of things. You know, we had to take care about uh, the student's uh, mental health. You know, um, they worry too much. So by, by giving them um, a peer learning active, I mean, like maybe group work is hard. But maybe uh, the, the only thing that uh, we could do was actually to share those uh, the, 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 the students' work and give comments. I think that's, the only thing that they can learn uh, during that session. Uh, either they, they listen to the, 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 the uh, feedback session or uh, I do have Facebook and then I actually put up the, you know, I share it uh, in, the, in the Facebook group so they can have a look at it. That's my, uh, and then when I give feedback, I will share it to everyone. I guess that's how they would do uh, peer learning at, at that time, yeah. Is that okay? Chan, you can turn on your mic. Hi, Ms. D. Hi. Sorry, had some disconnection just now. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for sharing because uh, most of the time students only tell us that it's hard, it's hard. But at the same time, we lecturers also feel the same pressure. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we also want to share with the students that yes, both parties have are having these difficulties. Yes. We want to find ways to make sure that you all learn better as well. Yeah. Uh, Especially when we are very, you know, gung-ho, like we want to teach, you know, uh, you know, like we want to hold the pen and, and just hold them, you know, teach them how to do models. Imagine uh, teaching a foundation uh, 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 about these, um, making models and drawing online uh, um, in October, uh, March last year, right? So uh, it was hard. Um, but now I'm having a face-to-face -face class for the semester one because of the LAM regulation. 
um, so I, uh, they they enjoy it better. They, they they told me that oh I love this you know because we can draw with them you know or if we can really tell them what is wrong uh, in in studio. Um, so in, in terms of that, um, uh, yes, I told them it was hard for us as well. I mean from the start, it's not easy to do a, um, a face to face, especially teaching studio. Maybe some other subject is not that hard unless it's drawing or the technical stuff, right? But um, for studio, especially for first year, it's hard. I think Toshiko knows that as well, yeah? It's really hard uh, to do that. You can give videos. I, I do have uh, some of the um, uh, students who we give them uh, videos, but even with the video, they can look at it. But they, they, like for example, architecture handwriting, you know? They still make, you know, they, they're still not nice. So how do you tell them that, you know, you, you know you, when you write, yes, you write it pr uh, properly. Right, you can show I am writing it properly here, but you're not. But, you know, hold that pen properly. You know, how do you do that? You know, it's so easy. Um, so, uh, yeah. If yes. I can, Sherry, add something. Yeah. I'm the same. I have been dealing with this teaching big group of first year students in architecture since mm -hmm. the March 20, whatever, the last year. Mm -hmm. And the UK is worse than Malaysia. You're so lucky that you can go back to face to face. We are still like kind of coming out of lockdown. We are just about maybe possibly start the uh, once a week face to face possibly, but with a restriction. So we can't have mm -hmm. everyone in one room. Mm -hmm. but, uh, with all the experiment we did, the one session, one type of format, it always somehow satisfies is the cooking show, live cooking show type approach. I Meaning that it's a tutorial, the like you show everyone so you do it so that we have a little camera yeah and mm -hmm. they don't want to see our face they don't care i don't yeah. right so what yes. they care is what we can do so we have a we cut the papers make a models mm -hmm. do a little bit show i mean obviously this works best up much better for first year level yeah maybe not so much with the all the, uh, uh, the old, yeah. students but the even old, like, we have like, different after, problems yeah, even the master uh, students that my husband teach with, they still enjoy kind of demonstrations on live. And then yeah. as we show, because then the student can kind of, oh, how did you do that? Mm -hmm. So it kind yeah. of gives, and then once we do that, we then always leave them the common questions. Then um, they, we force them to separate them into breakout room, like a blind date. Mm -hmm. so they have to, they have to talk to each other to come up with the answer. So mm -hmm. it, it's a need a bit more forceful way. I mean, like all those things that Dee was suggesting, that's all mm -hmm. great, but it just need a extra. Yeah, you need to, yeah, you need to plan it, kind of like uh, arrange it, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But at, um, I, I think uh, because we're doing it face-to-face -face now, we're, we're not doing that, we're, we're, we're not having that problem. But before this, um, I, I think we do have problems issue and we, we didn't, uh, we tried as much as possible. Uh, they asked, like, I think the, the lecturer, uh, Dr. Um, Leah, she, I think she had that kind of thing for drawing class. For her drawing class, she would actually draw, uh, do a tutorial like you, you mentioned just now, Toshiko. Yeah. Isn't it good to share that? Yeah. Okay. Back to you, I, I guess, Amelia. Is that okay, uh, Chan? Thanks, Miss D. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, I'd just like to point out something here that we have a very nice platform getting all kinds of insights from different perspectives, even lecturers and students here. Mm -hmm. So again, once again, before we wrap it up, is there any last questions from the floor? Yes, we have one from Guma. Hi, Ms. D. I have a question here. With the current situation with the MCO, in your opinion, what effective ways that students can do to foster better relationship between the universities in this current situation? Uh, between the different, uh, different university, correct me if I'm wrong? Between universities, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, yes, okay. Um, I guess um, uh, we, we normally that um, like PAM would always do something, right? Like this, you know? I, I think the first platform should be uh, from MASA, right? Uh, I think um, MASA is a good platform where all the architecture students can come. I mean, um, um, all the leaders from each university and plan out something uh, uh, to to foster a better, you know, activities. Yeah, I mean, you have this, but I think it's a one way. Uh, one way means that 
because you have this discussion, but you're not getting to know each other. So it's, it's still good, but maybe uh, you can uh, devise another program. I don't know whether it's, uh, you know, something else that would happen, you know, uh, you, you have to do a brainstorming session where, you know, like we normally do this, we sit in this room doing this face-to-face. -face. Now, what if we change it, you know, how, how would you uh, do it uh, online and then meets the same um, aim, you know, perhaps, you know? So I think that um, you guys are the main person at the moment. So if if this doesn't work, it's <laughs> saying that if Masa doesn't work, then you have to go to um, your, your own uh, student body, in, uh, you know, and then uh, talk to them and then start doing something or maybe just do something from your school. You, you know, you could be anywhere um, uh, from in any, uh, you know, can be from uh, Poly PD or Poly whatever, uh, UITM, just create an event, just call anyone, you know, just do that. I, I guess that would be, it's your own effort to do that. Does that answer your question, Guma? Right. So it's yes. like the. Yeah. Thank you, Misty. Yeah. It's like the proactiveness. It has to come from us. Yes. Yes. Yep, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Moving on. Do you have any questions? I suppose we could wrap it up if there are no further questions. Can mm. I just? Uh, I just. Uh, reply to um, someone said uh, I think we can continue it's not that bad uh, with the um, oh is it the sound or is it the uh, oh, no. um, situation <laughs> I think oh, with, the, the... with the COVID situation or is it the sound sorry oh, I think it was the sound earlier okay on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, uh, you, it's, it's not uh, just to, to just to uh, to highlight again the situation with the student community. I mean, it's not that bad, right? We are trying as much, but my worry is actually um, if you know all the seniors have done gone through, like maybe like next year they they, uh, they graduate. But how do how do you want to tell the junior to continue the spirit, for example, because they they are stuck at home, you know, they, it's hard, and then. Um, then is the the, the 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 seniors have gone. I mean, the senior with the with the most uh, 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 energy has left. So then you these other students are quite like clueless. You know, they need to find their way. So I don't know whether that uh, they, will it be the same. Uh, you know, or how I think it's Masa have to do something as well to make sure that that community uh, or the semangat, uh, the, the the spirit still continue. Yeah, that's my. Right, I, I think uh, we all notice it as well, like this, uh, while the seniors are leaving, like the energy is not carried forward, like carried down at all. Yes, yeah, and then, and then it's the seniors' um, uh, responsibility to make sure that the junior continue it. At least you try, you know, if the junior did not, uh, does not do it, then it's another story, lah, but uh, you, right. you need to try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, all right, so... Okay, I suppose we have come to an end of our Q&A session. And also with that said, I, we have come to an end to our 33rd lecture series as well. So once again, I'd like to thank uh, you, Ms. D. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, thank sharing thank so you. much with us. Yep. And thank you all for those who joined us um, as participants on this lecture series. And we really hope that you have enjoyed it. And do keep in touch with our Masa's Instagram and Facebook page for any upcoming events. And until then, have a nice day and catch you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.